Welcome everybody to another episode of the Healthy Habit Podcast. We're with Mr. Stephen Harkins. You guys might remember him from episode two, but it's my pleasure to welcome back the Director of Education here today. North American Urban Spice is the company we're speaking with today, by the way, oregano.com. And Stephen is the Director of EDU there. Welcome back to another episode, Stephen. It's heart month here in February. What's been going on on your end? Tell us about cardiovascular health. Well, I think it's good that they picked February for uh, Heart Month, and uh, it's a good time to talk about it. You know, it's it's a huge problem uh, across the world, not just the United States, and it's it's lethal. I mean, in 2020, we were talking about the pandemic, but over 19 million people died globally just from heart attacks uh, related to coronary heart disease, and it still remains. You know, pandemics come and go. Heart disease epidemic has been with us for a while. And so Dwight Eisenhower, he had a scare, he had a heart attack when he was in the Oval Office. And from that event, he created this awareness, this heart month awareness. And I think we should talk about it as much as possible. Um, we've got a grouping of products that we've prepared for you today. Really, they're just ingredients from nature that you can use in your arsenal to help you kind of uh, look out for those risk factors. Uh, we'll talk about some of those today, like blood pressure, uh, high, high cholesterol and inflammation, oxidation, uh, plaque formation in the arteries and, uh, and of course, uh, gaining weight, keeping the inflammation at bay and so forth. So we'll talk quite a bit about how to keep your cardiovascular system healthy and by doing that really, uh, extending your life. You're absolutely right. No one's really talking about cardiovascular health. I mean, it comes up now and again. I think a lot of people do know a family, a close, like a first family member, father, mother, or an uncle, or a, even a cousin or you know, distant relative who's had a heart attack or a stroke. And really all we hear about is like the, the war on breast cancer, and which is important, don't get me wrong, and COVID and kind of Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, but it's not really on the radar of the public radar. So I think that's awesome that we have a month dedicated to cardiovascular health. Tell us about a product like Polar Power and, and what role this could play in this epidemic, really, of heart disease. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I, and I would just make mention that, you know, every 36 seconds in the United States, a person dies from cardiovascular disease. So, you know, we're not trying to be morbid here, but it's very serious. And prevention is really the name of the game. Right. Uh, so when we talk about something like Polar Power, which is wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon oil, and it's rich in omega threes. Let me raise your hand, you know, out there if you've if you've heard of omega threes, that has the DHA, the EPA. Uh, this is really wonderful because multiple studies point to the omega threes as being something that um, can help lower your risk for coronary heart disease and a lot of the the factors that uh, are associated with that. So. Uh, consuming a diet rich in omega threes can help, you know, actually lower your cholesterol, um, lower your blood pressure, lower your risk for uh, blood clots, um, help you with things like myocarditis and pericarditis, which we're hearing so much of right now. That's inflammation there in the heart, and so it works on inflammation. It works on oxidative stress. Uh, provides these essential fatty acids that the body needs, and if you think about it. Where else in the diet are we getting uh, omega-3s like this from? And we're not really getting it. In fact, we're getting a bunch of omega-6s right. from refined seed oils. And so we've got to kind of take back that ratio and uh, lower the omega-6. Stop consuming the canola. That would be my personal advice to you. Watch what oils you're consuming. Consider how many pounds of omega-6 oils you're consuming in a year, you know, and then just stop doing that. Consume things like coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and fish oil uh, in the form of a convenient soft gel if you don't want to taste it. Uh, or if you're really deficient, you know, we also have the oil, which is an eight ounce that you can get uh, even more nutrients per teaspoon doing it that way. So if you're really concerned about your heart, that would be the first thing we would put you on. Okay. And that's the polar power. Again, wild Alaskan sockeye salmon is in this product. What part of the salmon is it just, you know, tell us about that a little bit in the sourcing. Yeah. So, you know, people kind of like 
are surprised when we tell them, you know, it's from the brain of the salmon. It's where the omega-3s and the fatty acids are concentrated. And we steer clear of the liver, which, you know, can sometimes accumulate toxins there in the ocean, especially these days. So we really love that we're using the brain. We love that it's, uh, for the most part, unrefined. And that's why you get that wonderful pink orange color there uh, every time. So again, polar power, oregano.com. You can even go to North American herb and spice.com to purchase that online or come on in a healthy habit, healthy habit, health foods at 6029 North seven street, 6029 North seven street. How does this differ from black seed oil, black seed cardio plus that's number one. That's the, it's a two part question. And then the second part would be, how is this different from the seed oil epidemic right now? Everyone's fearing seed oils. It's gone viral on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube, people are making Twitter names, literally it's at seed oil disrespector. I remember there's one guy <laughs> has, so it's like a big movement right now. Everyone has seed oils on their radar, differentiate those from black seed oil. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you look out there and you start paying attention to the labels, you'll see, you'll see things like rapeseed and cotton seed and canola and soy and even corn quite a bit, quite a bit. Right. And neither one of these even though they're extremely common in the marketplace and the health food stores, I mean, not yours, uh, not healthy habits. Uh, but when you go to even places, you know, like when I shop at Whole Foods, I see canola, for example, quite a bit. And, you know, there's a thought that this is healthy, but it's uh, the seed oils are created extra. They create extra omega sixes. And when the body consumes excessive omega six and not enough omega threes, it's the perfect storm for inflammation in the body. And I'm talking about everywhere. So your heart, your brain, your arteries, uh, your liver, you just don't want this. And um, if you get off of that, and you start consuming things like olive oil, coconut oil, um, you know, even black seed oil is good for the heart. And we're not, you're not going to be consuming black seed oil as often as you would in food because you're not using it to cook food, right? right? You're you're just using it in its raw form um, as a teaspoon a day, maybe twice a day at most, because you don't need much. And black seed oil is of course from a seed, but it's a good seed oil and it's not refined. That's the difference. Uh, what's amazing about this to me is besides the other things that we've talked about in the past about black seed being helpful for the immune system, inflammation, uh, helping with, um, bacteria, just like oregano does, uh, also being wonderful for digestion, uh, the gut, but also it's fantastic for the heart. And the studies point to a few different parameters, uh, blood pressure being one of the most uh, common uh, denominator that of studies that people are finding. It really helps to lower systolic and diastolic blood pressure, which is good news for everybody out there. It helps with the resting heart rate, you know, it also is good for heart muscle support because of the antioxidants and the sterols helps strengthen the heart muscle. So you don't want a weak heart muscle. And what's wonderful is, you know, we talk about your risk factors. Well, uh, for men, it's you can get heart attacks as early as 65. That's the most common age, but sometimes earlier for women, it's 72. And so, you know, uh, if you're over 60, but probably if you're over 50, because of the times that we're in, you know, black seed oil could be a wonderful friend. We had a lady that was 96 years old that took black seed oil and she got wonderful results for her heart muscle without having to use a pharma drug. And 96, 96 years old. And they're like, oh, you know, your heart muscle is really weak and we need to put you on this heart medication. And she's like, I'm 96 years old. I haven't taken any kind of drugs my entire life. Right. I don't think I'm going to start now. And she said, I'll do it my own way. You know, she kind of dismissed them. And um, what's funny is her daughter, you know, contacted us, got some black seed oil and upon our recommendation, and she started taking it every day faithfully for about three months. And of course, she's doing what little bit of exercise she's can. She's trying to stay active. And I think I should definitely point out that being active is a huge part of this. I mean, for most of us, we, it's recommended you do about 150 minutes of exercise a week. For her, she's just doing what she can, right? But she's not sitting down all day. That's the important thing to note. Right. 
So she's eating good in her diet. And then three months later, she goes back in and then they test her. And she has such a remarkable improvement that they're actually comparing her heart muscle test to her daughter, who's in her 70s, to her heart muscle. Wow. And of course, she told him what she was doing. And um, that's that's another case that we have in our arsenal. But I love how it's just well tolerated, uh, even for somebody that has a diabetic situation or has an overweight situation or has, you know, someone who's in their 90s can still take this. It's gentle. And that's, that's just, um, what do we say? Cholesterol. I don't know if I mentioned that, right. Uh, supports healthy cholesterol levels, blood pressure response, heart rate, heart muscle inflammation. What more could you ask for? Uh, and, and a lot of the things that we've picked to talk about today, like the salmon and others, they support the heart in multiple ways, you know? And so they, they bring down these risk factors and that's how they prevent you know, uh, you becoming another statistic. Right. So maybe quickly summarize those. Let's say someone came into the store right now and took advantage of Mr. Stan, the demo man being in house, by the way, who's demoing North American herb and spice product every Saturday here at Healthy Habit. And the unique thing about this podcast, Stephen, is people are listening to us right now as they're shopping in the store. So they can literally go pick up a product that we're talking about right now as they're in the store as we speak. So Stan's demoing NAHS every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. here at Healthy Habit. He has free books authored by the late, great Dr. Cass Ingram, Dr. Oregano. And yes. that's for free for any purchase of two items from the line. Let's say you pick up the Polar Power and the original black seed oil liquid. Boom, you get a free book and he has free samples and literature as well. Quickly summarize them. You said they work in multiple ways to protect the cardiovascular system. So before we move on to another product I want to discuss, Tell us, give us a recap on black seed oil, polar power together. How are they helping the heart, like reducing inflammation, blood pressure, et cetera? Give us right. a summary. Right. So um, when, you know, as we're studying cardiovascular disease and why does a person, you know, come down with that? And then ultimately, why do they get worse and then become a, an issue for mortality? They look at things like blood pressure, uh, hypertension, you know, uh, high, high blood pressure, it's, it's a big marker that, you know, something can go wrong. You're a ticking time bomb if you've got that going on. The other one is plaque in the arteries, arthrosclerosis, buildup and formation of plaque. And the more plaque you get, the thicker it's going to get down there. Instead of this wonderful kind of uh, system, circulatory system, now you've got some sludge, you've got some resistance, you've got some plaque built up. Think about the plaque on your teeth and how that's a problem. And that's bacteria, you know, and that can lead to cavitation and decay. Imagine that in your arteries and your blood vessels. And so we want, we don't want that. The other thing is inflammation. If you have inflammation that's in your heart and we brought up a couple of terms, pericarditis, myocarditis, which we're hearing about more and more, that inflammation, uh, if left unchecked, gets worse and eventually leads to oxidation. So this is like decay. This is damage to your organ. This is damage to your heart. And from that, um, the heart fails. The heart can fail. And so you want to keep the blood pumping from the heart and you want to keep uh, the heart, re heart rate. You want to keep a steady heart rate uh, as well. So you don't want tachycardia, which is, you know, a regular heart rate where it's beating way too fast. You can't sustain that. And so you, what you want is like a balance, you know, you want like a homeostasis and you want to keep inflammation at bay and you want to keep the arteries smooth and clear. Uh, and you want to keep blood pressure, uh, healthy within normal range. And you want to keep your cholesterol levels, uh, normal and healthy too. And the, you know, the good news is, I guess the bad news is, is that, you know, a lot of the time it's, it's lifestyle habits that cause us to, to go down. The good news is there's a lot of good things we can do. We can make a change. We can reverse this whole thing. If we just change some of our lifestyle habits, bring in that exercise and then also remove the bad foods. We talked about the seed oils, remove the things that are causing the inflammation, the root cause. And then bring in these superfoods and and nutrients uh, that really uh, prop up, you know, build up our strength. 
and um, and help us take our health back. So that's 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 kind of the risk factors in a nutshell. I don't know if you have anything else that I might have I could have missed that you wanted to. I mean, we can literally do a series on just black seed oil and get into like <laughs> what they're doing with different pathways and all this very specific stuff that people sit in a lab all day and study. But you it's pretty much nailed it. I mean, we're reducing cardiovascular inflammation, helping to clear that plaque out of the arteries making sure the blood's not too heavy and viscous and fatty. You know, I'm, I'm running blood tests all the time, Stephen, on cardiovascular panels and not just the typical HDL, LDL, LDL, uh, total cholesterol. You know, we're going, we're doing an actual advanced lipid panel where we're looking at the size of the fatty particles and if they're in the right pattern and proportion and everybody's off, everybody's got too much of the small, little dense LDL ones that are clustered together. Mm. Whereas you want the big, buoyant, like fluffy HDL molecules and bigger LDL uh, fats in the blood, which black seed oil helps us create, which is cool. So, yeah, it's rich in the omega nines, right? Omega omega threes, and it's coming from black cumin seed oil. There's thymoquinone in there. Maybe just tell us a little bit about thymoquinone, and then we'll move on to the next product, but because that's an important topic. Yeah, thymoquinone is, you know, it's a molecule. It's it's an active ingredient found in black seed oil. Um, it's very unique because you don't really find thymoquinone in nature very often. You do find quinones um, in nature. They do support the immune system. Um, they're fabulous molecules. Uh, they have said that thymoquinone has a similar structure to CoQ10. Oh, really? which is also another wonderful enzyme, you know, to protect the heart. Uh, it it's, has antioxidant effects in its own right. And I think sometimes antioxidant, I think that word is kind of watered down and the meaning, the meaning is lost. Uh, but if you think about it on a cellular level, your, your cells, you know, they need to thrive. And if they die, then your body has to work harder if you could keep them alive, if you could repair them, if you could stop them from dying, that's what that you could stop them from oxidating and then dying. That's what antioxidants do. And then your cells make up your tissues, your tissues make up your organs. So think about that in terms of the heart. If you're providing a huge blast of antioxidants and you're getting more antioxidants into your body than you are oxidation, you can overcome that, that situation in theory, right? And, and uh, yeah, so, so thymoquinone is a powerful antioxidant that helps do, helps do just that and also works on inflammation as a result. And then real quick, the polar power is in the form of capsules while the, the black seed is, is in a liquid oil or do you they, also they're both offered in uh, soft gels and in oil. And so the oil is always going to give you more per dose. Uh, you know, I recommend if you're taking the polar power and you're taking it for a reason, you're trying to protect your heart, maybe you've already got some stuff going on. I would tell somebody to take, it wouldn't be uncommon to ask them to take three soft gels twice a day, but you could just take one teaspoon of the oil and it would be the same. Got it. So if you don't want to taste it, that's why we got the soft gels because black seed and fish oil, uh, you know, I probably, I guess two thirds of the population are, are not too keen on the right. taste. So you can just go, benefits. how do you do? You do it right from the spoon, boom, or you put yeah, it over right. vegetables or in a smoothie, or how do we do this? I've certainly done it on a salad before, uh, but I really just take it by the spoon. I think practically like on a day-to-day, -day, just get it over with, down the hatch, drink the water, right. and, and receive the benefits. Right. Same thing with herbal tinctures. I like just going right under the tongue. You know, it might sting a little bit, but I feel like it's the most powerful like that. Yeah. Pays Tell to us. be brave. <laughs> Tell us, Stephen, about Purely E, because this is a critical cardiovascular nutrient. Uh, I think it's like a forgotten vitamin that we focus on others. We focus on vitamin D and vitamin C a lot. But vitamin E, we're finding out new things all the time. It's kind of fascinating. It's like Pluto. It's like, you know, you're finding out uh, about the outer planets. You know, I'd say vitamin E is like that. Now, it's an antioxidant in its own right. So it's a good thing we laid the foundation there about what that helps with. Uh, and it's, it has, what's interesting about vitamin E is, um, it supports your, it, it, it's really good for working on inflammation and preventing oxidation and 
it is wonderful for the heart. It's a cardiovascular protector. Mm -hmm. uh, it can also lower your risk for disease and not just cardiovascular diseases. Uh, it can help you recover very well, like wound healing, recovery from surgery. And it, it's really wonderful for the skin. It's, it's also used for the eyes. Um, but it's, it's a, it's got some essential fatty acids in there, um, that are only found in vitamin E and there's eight different nutrients found inside a true whole food vitamin E complex. Most supplements don't contain all eight. So we're talking about tocotrienols and tocopherols. And then the, the, they have four different, uh, subsets underneath that, you know, the Greek letters, alpha, beta, delta, gamma, and we've got all eight. And for that reason, you know, you really get the full effect of what vitamin E is supposed to do in the body. You get the full absorption because it is a food source. And uh, that's the purely E. That's, that's what it's called there. We have oil and soft gel uh, as well. But I like the soft gels. I think most people go for that one. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see I'm going through. This is directly from their website, NorthAmericanHerbAndSpice.com, and just search. Or I just got here by doing Google Purely E North American Herb. So we can read the description here. It's now known that the whole food unprocessed complex of vitamin E with all its synergists is most powerful versus the heavily processed isolates. So Purely E is coming straight from food. Is that how we're able to maintain this synergy, Stephen? Yes. So we're talking about whole unprocessed foods directly from nature, high quality superfoods like Austrian pumpkin seed oil, sunflower seed, uh, and also African red palm oil as well, uh, and a little bit of rosemary to help preserve it. Uh, and of course, more antioxidants from that. So I don't think you'll find a vitamin E that's more equipped, you know, to get the job done, especially for the heart support. And it's also wonderful for reproductive health out there uh, for those who are uh, looking to conceive and have a healthy pregnancy. Tell us about this charged with sun energy that I pulled up here. What does this mean? Is this uh, a little <laughs> hippie out there or what? Tell us about this. The sun Slightly. Energy. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> hippie in there. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Yeah. It was interesting. So we, we make that point because okay. the sun is like it's life. It's one of the elements that's needed for life, you know, just like water, you know, and trust me, I know it's like 10 degrees outside right now. And we haven't had vitamin D in a long time. And I'm looking forward to come to healthy habits to come to Phoenix this weekend, so I can soak it up. But you know, all life needs sun, right? And photonic energy, that's the name of the game. So there's actually living uh, trapped energy inside of every plant that receives sunlight. Mm -hmm. And when you eat that, you get a piece of that for your body. And it's so it's another form of healing versus, you know, a lot of these other vitamin complexes that are out there, we have to question, did it receive sunlight? Right. Uh, because if it didn't, you have no photonic energy. It's essentially a dead no, uh, laboratory concoction, in our yeah, opinion. Like, literally, it, that's how it always used to be. The plants are outside getting charged with sunlight, right, which has been totally removed in the factory settings. So I like that you're putting, this is interesting, the red palm oil, um, out of all the oils over time, like finally seed oils are getting, you know, they're finally getting exposed if you want to use that word, but palm oil has always gotten a bad rap even because it's, it's saturated fat. So, which arguably you can use this one the best medicinally, it's more stable than the, the omega-6 rich polyunsaturated fats. Tell us a little bit about why you chose to include red palm oil in here. Well, I think it's the genius of Miss Judy and, you know, and our company here is we realized that, you know, it says it right here, vitamin E, 70% tocotrienols. It has some of the highest concentrations of vitamin E that you'll find in any food in nature. Um, and so it also, you know, you can even use this in cooking uh, because it has a high melting point, just like coconut oil. And it's it's wonderful. I mean, it, there's a lot of benefits for the skin and, and for the eyes and certainly for the heart. Uh, so we just loved it as a source we, you know we're looking at what are the top foods what are the you know the best foods that we can incorporate that we have access to Incredible. and we couldn't yeah. leave this off the list it's again it's it's pretty much in the top five or top three i would say for vitamin e content in nature out of all the plant kingdom so yep and, i didn't know uh, that honestly i didn't know that's why i love doing the show 
Mr. Stephen Hargens brings the EDU. That's why he's the director, folks, of the EDU department here at North American <laughs> Urban Spice. I didn't know that. That red palm oil is one of the highest concentrations of vitamin E naturally. Yes. So that's really cool. And uh, anything else you want to add before we move on to the next product we have in line here? Before we maybe give a quick recap again, like vitamin E, how does this plug in compared to polar power and black seed oil? Yeah, so it's part of the equation. So okay. the way to do is we we give people like a superfood. We'll give them a herb. You know, there's always some kind of herb like black seed or oregano. You know, we'll always include that in a heart support. You know, uh, matrix. But then also you've got a vitamin. You you've got to have a nutrient. You got to have some nutrients, and you got to have some herbs. You put those two together with a couple super superfoods in your life, and that's the turnaround effect. Uh, you know, remove out with the old, out with the bad, in with the good. And so it's just to keep it simple, you know, we're going to find a, new, a couple of nutrients that you might be deficient in that's that's lending to the, the issue that you're having. We're going to recommend a couple herbs that are equipped to help you uh, recover, repair, uh, be, you know, be more vital in your body. Right. And, you know, there's usually a superfood or two that can help too that you're just not able to get from the grocery store so easily. And uh, that's kind of the polar power. So you got polar power, vitamin E and black seed really fit into that matrix. Incredible. I think two to three products per segment is amazing. I think that fits in nicely with that 25, 26 minute episode. <laughs> Next time for this, the part two of our cardiovascular, we'll call it. We'll, we're going to touch on turmeric power plus, Palma Max and the juice of oregano, which has the muscadine and pomegranate in there. That's going to be for part two. So you don't want to miss that episode. Uh, by the time this show airs, Stephen, you would have already came to the event here at Healthy Habit, which is coming up on Saturday. We're recording this on Thursday, February the 2nd. We release them incrementally in every you know, 10 to 14 days or so. So um, what do you want to give a recap uh, and for people that will be hearing this episode and who might have missed the event? Or what do you want to let them know about North American Urban Spice? Uh, well, you know, we have a story to tell. We're different, you know. Um, we started the company, you know, the company, I should say, I wasn't there when it got started, but it's been around for 30 plus years. And we started it because Miss Judy was not finding good options for supplements and vitamins and things for her patients when she was a director of cancer treatment center uh, of America here as a director of nutritionalist in her previous life, previous job. And so she said, if I could ever make a company that would just be pure. It would have no fillers. Every ingredient would have a health benefit. I'm going to do it. And she had an opportunity. The oregano was our catalyst. Uh, we do believe everybody should have that oregano oil for their immune systems right now, should have it in their pantries. And just check out if you're looking for real whole food nutrient complexes and you're looking for herbs that are from the wild, spices that can really change your life, that's us. That's North American Urban Spice. I always appreciate having you on, Stephen. I'm excited to talk to you in about a month. And again, for the event that's coming up this weekend, thank you for your time and your dedication. This guy has not missed a show. It's incredible. Thank you. And oh, thank if you. If you're new to the podcast, Stephen's been with us even on Healthy Habit Radio back on 1100 KFNX. So appreciate your time. I'm excited as well. We'll see you guys soon, Phoenix. Thank we'll you. See you soon. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate it. Bye. -bye. You.